what was hard was some of the things that I thought that I was over and redoing it brought back some feelings, almost like PTSD. I couldn't love that man anymore. Who did you talk to? Who was your person to say, hey, I need this conversation right now? Uh, my girlfriend, who uh, Nicole e. Smith, who we wrote the book together. That was television personality and actress Garcelle Beauvais making shocking revelations about actor Will Smith. The actress recently sat down in an interview and apparently spilled all the tea about the bad boys actor, and boy, were we surprised. If her words are true, then the King Richard star has more skeletons in his wardrobe than we ever imagined. Garcelle Beauvais isn't known for her antics on and off air. The actress has managed to stay out of the limelight for most of her acting and modeling career, except for a few issues here and there. Will Will Smith, on the other hand, has been in the news both for good and bad reasons, mostly bad reasons. He's been in the news so many times that it is as if he intentionally pulls some stunts just to stay relevant. His viral slap that was heard around the world, 2022 Oscars is still fresh in the minds of fans across the globe. So it was kind of surprising to find out that Will Smith actually had something to do with Beauvais, given that the two appear to be complete opposites. The two met on the set of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and immediately fireworks went off. I saw you you revealed recently you had a history with Will briefly, briefly in the 90s. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, that was a young ingenue actress. Real sound clip Beauvais confessed that she had a crush on the dashing Will Smith, who also returned the gesture. The couple went out on a couple of dates and things were getting serious between the two until an incident happened that forced her to pull the plug on the relationship. Narrating the story Las Culturistas with Matt Rogers and Bowen Yang, the 57-year-old recalled that she one day called up Will Smith while he was going out with his first son, Trey. The celebrated actor picked up and while they were exchanging pleasantries, Trey dropped the bomb. I remember one day calling him and he was in the car. And his son, with Cherie, they were in the back, Beauvais said. So, you know, he picked up on the car or Bluetooth or whatever it was back in the day or speakerphone, whatever it was. And he said, hey, how are you doing? And I said, I'm great. And I heard this little voice in the background go, is that Miss Jada? And that's when I was like, okay, I'm not the only one. Exit stage left, Beauvais added while laughing. If a kid knows somebody, then that person's a little bit more important, right? She admitted that she thought things were getting serious between Jada and Will which was why she backed out. But fans were not buying that excuse. They thought she should have put up a fight for the love of her life. Maybe she wasn't confident in her skin. Or she felt Jada was a more accomplished celebrity than she was. It isn't clear whether she dated Will Smith first or whether it was Jada. But one thing was certain. Will Smith was as single as F and was up for grabs after divorcing his first wife, Cherie Zampino. Though that little secret surprised many fans, they weren't prepared for what came next. It's an open secret that the enemy of the state star likes to party no matter the occasion. A typical example is when he partied hard the night after dealing Chris Rock the slap of his life. He danced the night away without a care in the world, as if nothing happened. However, Beauvais has apparently cautioned to stay off Will Smith's parties, given what she has allegedly seen the actor do. Word on the street suggests that the focus actor had invited her to several parties, but she's turned them all down, and here's why. Will Smith is rumored to have dated several men, which at one point caused a strain on the relationship between him and his wife Jada Pink at Smith. Now, this wouldn't be surprising because Will and Jada once said they were in an open relationship. Thus, they could sleep with whoever they chose, regardless of gender, so far as their partner was okay with it. So, it wouldn't be surprising if Jada knew about Will Smith's escapades with men. In fact, one of the first celebrities to insinuate that the Emancipation actor was gay and his wife knew about it was Alexis Arquette. Alexis, a transgender woman who passed on in 2016, once made a post that rubbed Will and Jada Smith the wrong way. She called the Hollywood power couple gay hypocrites, and claimed that the main reason Will's first wife, Cherie, divorced him was because she caught him in bed with another man. Her unprovoked rant about the Smiths came on the back of Jada, announcing she'll boycott the 2016 Oscars. Arquette thought Jada was being hypocritical and dragged her on social media. In a now-deleted Facebook post, the famous drag queen advised her fans not to listen to Jada until she fulfills her one request. When Jada comes out as gay and her beard husband admits his first marriage ended when she walked into him servicing his sugar daddy Benny Medina, then I will listen to them. Now, for those of you who might not know Benny Medina, he's a top executive producer, talent manager, and television producer who has managed the careers of top stars like Mariah Carey, Jennifer Lopez, and Will Smith. In 2017, actor, openly gay actor Jason Dotley accused Medina of attempting to sleep with him when they toured Medina's Los Angeles mansion in 2008. The executive producer denied the rumors through his lawyer 
lawyers, but an eyewitness claimed that the allegations were true. The eyewitness Tia Shanti Moselle, who accompanied Dotley on his visit to Medina's mansion, claimed that he walked into one room and saw the music executive producer on top of Dotley. According to Dotley, Moselle, on seeing Medina on top of him, yelled and asked the record executive to leave him alone, to his annoyance. Moselle burst in the room and was screaming something like, Get off him! Dotley said. Benny Medina got off of me and grabbed me again by the chest of my shirt and threw me at, not to but at, his bedroom door and all he said was, you two get the F out of here. On why he couldn't fight back when Medina was attempting to R him, Dotley claimed that the talent manager was too powerful. What I remember most about the encounter with Benny was the feeling of giving up, Dotley says. The moment I realized that I could not fight him off, that I was slowly losing my ability to breathe because of his arm on my neck, that moment of complete and utter powerlessness, that's what I remember the most. Now, if Jason Dotley's accusations are true, then it isn't far-fetched to think that Benny Medina might have had a fling or two with Will Smith. Wait, hear me out. First, fans feel it is highly plausible that Dotley wanted Benny to manage his career the same way he did Will Smith's. However, Benny probably demanded something of an S nature in exchange for making Dotley famous. Now, the only way Benny could have the courage to demand S from Dotley is if he had succeeded with other celebrities in the past. And that is where Will Smith comes in. The fans believe that Will Smith's success wasn't only down to talent, luck, and hard work, but also involved him giving his derriere to the powers that be, which in this case could be Benny Medina. So, Alexis Arquette may not be all wrong in accusing Will Smith of sleeping with Medina. She probably had info that we may not be privy to. Plus, Will sleeping with Medina wouldn't be anything out of the blue. Interestingly, YouTuber Trisha Paytas co-signed Arquette's words when she accused the Men in Black actor of sleeping with male dancers without their consent. Paytas made this allegation when Jada slammed filmmaker and actor Shane Dawson for apparently objectifying her daughter Willow. Social media users also joined in the fray, bashing Shane for his inappropriate act. However, Paytas came to Shane's defense, telling Jada to look at her own life instead. She said, How about worry about your daughter being in bed at with her older boyfriend? How about worry about your effing cheating husband effing one of my male dancers when they didn't want to? Once again, everyone was shocked. Many couldn't believe what their ears were hearing from the social media sensation. So, fellow YouTuber Keemstar reached out to Paytas to see if there was an iota of truth in her accusations, and he got this response. I don't know if it's true, he reads a text from Paytas. I wasn't there, like I wasn't in the room or anything, but it's happened to multiple dancers allegedly. Paytas's revelations once again opened a can of worms as more theories continued to pour out regarding where the good actor swang. Many critics believed he was at least a bi who enjoyed the company of both men and women. However, his defenders felt that all these were unfounded allegations aimed at destroying the career and reputation of one of the greatest black actors to grace the golden screen. They felt that it was an agenda by some unseen hands to degrade and denigrate the hard-won honor of Will Smith, and they did a great job of defending him to the hilt. But just when his defenders thought they were winning the battle, another scandal rocked their idol, which laid waste to all the work they'd done. News began flying around that Will Smith was literally in bed with fellow actor Dwayne Martin. The rumors first surfaced in 2012 when several gossip blogs claimed that the two Fresh Prince of Bel-Air stars were in a romantic relationship. At the time, Will's marriage to Jada was going through a rough patch, making the whole rumor believable. Some tabloids even speculated that Will's marital woes were the result of spending too much time with Dwayne. They claimed that the two men were seen vacationing, shopping, and partying together, to Jada's annoyance. According to online portals, Jada complained about Will's relationship with Dwayne, but it all fell on deaf ears as the two men continued to bask in each other's company. Curiously, Will's marriage wasn't the only one crumbling. Dwayne Martin was having marital challenges too, with many critics blaming those challenges on his rumored gay relationship. However, Dwayne's wife put the matter to bed when she claimed that Will Smith wasn't responsible for the failure of her marriage. Taking to social media, she rubbished all those rumors saying, Usually I ignore negativity, but I'm tired of the media attacking the Smiths. They're an amazing couple, and I wish people would stop perpetuating lies. Though the rumor didn't die down completely, it toned down, and the men went about their normal lives. Even when Dwayne and his wife finally got a divorce in 2018, very few tabloids blamed it on Will Smith. However, the rumor was rehashed when Brother Bilal, a man who claimed to have been a friend of Will Smith for the past 40 years, dropped a missile about Will and Dwayne. Brother Bilal told Tasha Kay that he once accidentally walked into a room and saw the two men engaged in a steamy session. I opened the door to Dwayne's dressing room and that's when I see Dwayne having 
A-S with Will. He continues, There was a couch, and Will was bent over the couch, and Dwayne was standing up behind him, nailing him. It was hot in there. Now, if you don't know Brother Bilal, you're in the company of millions of people. In fact, nobody seems to know who he is or what he does except a select few. However, that doesn't dismiss his allegations as false because nobody knows Diddy's or even Kevin Hart's assistants, but we know they are there. What makes Brother Bilal's story more convincing is that a video of him hanging around with other celebrities, including Will Smith, was playing in the foreground. You see the hundreds of celebrities that I've done business with, you know, done things with. Some people thought he was just a fan who took videos with stars and had no connections with them. Others even thought he just edited himself into the videos, but had never seen them in real life. Well, Jada Pinkett solved that mystery when she stated in an interview on The Breakfast Club that, indeed, Brother Bilal worked with Will Smith as his assistant. According to the Set It Off star, Bilal helped Will Smith when he was writing his book, but felt that he was underpaid for his efforts. She accused Bilal of trying a money shakedown, which didn't work, before turning his attention to social media. It's based on this person's belief that they were doing business in some way related to Will's book, that they spent money or whatever, and that they needed to be compensated. So, he's already tried the money shakedown. Will was trying to offer him a specific amount, but he refused. So, this whole situation is based on that. She then intimated that the whole story was a fabrication and should be taken with a pinch of salt. This story is completely fabricated, and the claim is unequivocally false. When asked whether she knew of the details of the agreement between her husband and brother Bilal, Jada responded in the negative. However, she cautioned the whistleblower that they'll sue him. Though Will himself didn't directly respond to the accusations, a source close to the family echoed Jada's words, calling the allegations completely false. They also claimed, the Smiths have dealt with and ignored innuendo and homophobic rumors for years. Will and Jada agree that it's just another someone attempting to capitalize on their celebrity status. They are going to sue him. The threat of a suit didn't deter brother Bilal, who doubled down on his accusations and even gave the Smiths an ultimatum of two weeks to sue him. In another interview with the same Tasha Kay, brother Bilal claimed that the Smiths knew he was telling the truth, which was why they responded quickly and with threats. The reason Will and Jada responded was because they know it's true, he said. They responded in less than nine hours. He knows what I saw in that dressing room. Jada, listen, in two weeks, if you don't sue me in two weeks, if Tasha Kay will have me, I'm back here and I'm dropping evidence. He then called Jada a liar and several other names. You said I extorted you. You said it was a money shakedown. Let's get into a little more of it. Jada, you are a bald-headed liar and a drug addict. You told the world you were gonna sue me. Well, it's been well over two weeks. Actually, it's been almost six months since the Smiths threatened to sue Brother Bilal, yet nothing seems to be happening. Thus, many fans have concluded that probably Brother Bilal's revelations were true, but there's more. Since Brother Bilal hasn't revealed the evidence that he threatened to release if the Smiths failed to sue him, fans suspect that the two parties might have come to an agreement. Maybe the Smiths called up Bilal and offered him the money he was looking for. Who knows? If that was true, then what kind of dirt did Brother Bilal have on Will Smith, some people wondered. Aside from his alleged escapade with Dwayne, was there any a video of the men in black actor at a wild party engaging in other escapades? There were more questions than answers, as fans wondered how and why Brother Bilal's feud with the Smiths came to an abrupt end. No suits from the Smiths, no further revelations from Bilal, nothing. The rumor just dissipated into thin air. However, one rumor that received less traction than the Will Smith Dwayne Martin alleged affair is Will's apparent gay relationship with his friend Martin Lawrence. I know you've never heard that one before, but if you have your ears on the ground and have deep connections in the entertainment industry, you might catch wind of it. What Hollywood does best is to allow you to hear and see what they want you to see, unless on a few occasions when it slips up and allows dirty secrets to spill. Thus, fans believe that the alleged secret relationship between Will and Martin Lawrence is one of Hollywood's most closely guarded secrets. Some insiders opine that the main reason why Will and Martin well on their hit Bad Boys franchise is because they are romantically linked. Fans who have keenly observed the chemistry between the two make-believe on-screen police officers are always left amazed. They complement each other so well that it is as if they are more than just real-life friends. They seem to have some kind of telepathic understanding on screen that very few partners can boast of. But does that mean they are in a gay relationship? I'll let you decide on that one. Another rumor that appears far-fetched but not improbable is Will's alleged romantic relationship with legendary music music producer Quincy Jones. The rumors started about three years ago when the iRobot actor credited Jones with saving him when he was broke. Narrating the incident, Will Smith said that the legendary music producer invited him to his home for a party where Steven Spielberg was also present. Jones then pressured him to audition for a movie role in front of the guests and promised him that that would change the rest of his 
life. However, Smith wasn't ready, so he begged Jones to allow him a week to prepare. Moreover, he didn't want to be an actor, and his dream was to become a rapper. Jones wouldn't accept the excuse because everybody who needed to make a decision concerning the role at stake was in the room. The role at stake was the fresh Prince of Bel-Air that would catapult him into stardom. On Jones' urging, Will decided to perform in front of the audience, and that day he received a standing ovation. At the tail end of the party, the young Will Smith got the role in the hit sitcom, and the rest is history. Now this story was narrated in 2021 when Smith was in London to promote his self-titled memoir. At the time, many people viewed the story as a testament to Quincy Jones' eye for spotting a diamond in the rough. They saw Will's story as an inspiration to learn to give people without prior experience the opportunity to show what they can do. However, given the many rumors going on about Smith's S, and especially Diddy's alleged gay parties, many people see the story in a different light. First, fans began to question the kind of party that featured only males. They also probed the relationship that existed between Quincy and Smith that would cause the music producer to force him on his colleagues. Some fans believe that Quincy did force Smith onto the producers. It's not that he wasn't talented or skilled, but he was untested, and many producers shudder to give main roles to fresh talents. They believe it's a recipe for disaster. So either Smith was extremely talented, or he had connections in the industry that went deeper than mere friendship. Interestingly, fans prefer to believe the latter. They find Smith's story of his rise to fame too good to be true, and instead prefer to think that he handed over his derriere on a silver platter to the likes of Quincy Jones. Fans even found Smith's audition at the party a curious case. Aside from the suspicious nature of the party, many wanted to know why an audition would take place when the people were probably drunk. The whole story didn't add up, leading fans to co-sign Garcelle Beauvais' words on the kind of parties Will Smith attended. Unfortunately, what is worsening the case for Will Smith is the S of Quincy Jones. Where Jones swung has been a subject of heated debate for years. Although he has publicly dated women, mostly famous ones, many fans suspect that he's gay on the low. He himself hasn't denied such rumors, opening the floodgates for various allegations. Some magazines even claim that the legendary music producer came out as gay in 2022 in a tell-it-all interview with Vulture. If that alleged revelation is anything to go by, then it perfectly dovetails into the narration that Will Smith was in a romantic relationship with the legendary music producer. It also makes sense why Will Smith would be at a party where the big Hollywood shots were. Many people see the party as a date between Quincy and Will, and where the legendary musician introduced introduced his gay partner, which in this case is Will, to the rest of the squad. But here's where it gets more interesting. Will Smith and Jada Pinkett have been rumored to have propositioned Jennifer Lopez for a threesome at a party. The rumor was started by Diddy's former bodyguard, Jean Deal, who claimed that Diddy was once suspicious of Jada and Will's intentions when they got too close to his then-girlfriend Jennifer Lopez at a birthday party. Narrating the incident, Jean said, Diddy stood up, and when he stood up, he walked and did his arms a certain kind of way like crossing them. I go over towards him and he said to me, Yo, I think Will and Jada are trying to scoop up Jennifer. I want you to stay close because I'm a snuff him. Curiously, when Jimmy Kimmel asked Diddy the question, he didn't give an emphatic answer. Instead, he pretended not to know what Kimmel was talking about, raising a lot of eyebrows. Fans thought Diddy could have called out his former bodyguard for lying if the whole story was cooked, but instead, he just evaded the question by saying, I don't know what you're talking about. Jimmy, I thought we were friends. Diddy's inability to completely deny the rumor and call out his former bodyguard bodyguard appeared to lend credence to the allegations. It also fed into the narrative that Jada and Will were in an open, complicated marriage that allowed any of them to sleep with whoever they chose. This doesn't help matters, especially when the alleged propositioning took place at a birthday party. Fans know why Garcelle Beauvais feared Will Smith's parties because she didn't know what to expect. So far as we are concerned, Beauvais is straight. But who knows, she might attend one of Will's parties, and the actor might ask her to take part in a threesome with him and Jada or another wild guest. So the best she could do was stay away from such parties to keep her sanity. With this, we draw the curtains on today's video. Thanks for watching.